everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 1 with another Sky Factory 101 tutorial video. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are kind of working our way through the task book. Last episode, we collected rainwater in a wooden barrel or create water using a wooden crucible. Now, we did the create water using a wooden crucible simply because that was the easy one to do. Collecting water in a rain barrel is probably something you're going to do by accident because rain is very, very unpredictable. It depends on the biome that your island is in, as well as a bunch of other factors. But it is totally possible to get water in your world using that method. So we're going to go check that off. This episode, we're going to continue on our quest for the first task here, and that is to create cobblestone with lava and water. Now, we've got the water in our world. Our next step is to get the lava. To get lava in your world, you need something called a crucible. Now, it is not the oak crucible, even though you can technically do it in an oak crucible. We're dealing with lava. Lava is very, very hot. Wood crucibles are going to burn. It's not a good idea. I wouldn't recommend it, especially because you've got a, probably at this point, still have a wooden island. To make a crucible crucible, we are going to need a bunch of clay. To make clay, we are first going to need dust. Now, we've gotten dust by taking cobblestone and hammering it down into gravel. Then we hammer down the gravel into sand. Then we hammer down the sand into dust. Taking the dust in your hand, you want to right-click on a crucible of water, or you can right-click on a barrel of water. Both of these instantly turn the dust into clay, and we can come right-click again, right-click again. That puts the clay into our inventory. We can go place it in our world, and now we can go break it. And we've got ourselves some additional clay balls. Now, clay by itself is not going to help us here. We need something called porcelain. To make porcelain, you need a clay ball and one bone meal. That gets you one porcelain clay. Now, there's two methods to get bone meal in your world, at least early on in the game. The first method is to take dust and run it through your sieving system. Now, this is a random drop. It is uh, completely dependent on chance how many pieces of uh, bone meal that you can get. And actually, we got quite a bit there. <laughs> Okay, that's actually perfect. That's the perfect amount of dust that or bone meal that we want. Now, to make a crucible, we need seven porcelain clay. I have three bone meal here, plus another three bone meal. That is six bone meal. We are one bone meal short of making the seven porcelain clay that we need. Perfect opportunity for us to take a look at the second method of getting bone meal in our world. And that's going to be using the vanilla composter. Now, I can't take credit for thinking about this one. It has been suggested to me by a couple of people in the comments on my videos. But it is something that I completely forget about is that a lot of times there are very vanilla solutions to modded problems. So... To make a vanilla composter, it is seven slabs in a U-shape in a crafting table. We can go take that, place it in our world, and then we can take things like the leaves, which we should have quite a bit of from, you know, when we were making dirt. We're just going to go and place them here in the composter. And as soon as it is full, it's going to start making a bone meal. We click on it. There we got our bone meal. That is perfect. That's exactly what we need. Now that we got enough bone meal, we can make the porcelain clay. Again, to make porcelain clay, it is one clay ball and one piece of bone meal. We need seven of these in a U-shape in a crafting table will get us an unfired crucible. Now, the key here is the unfired part. We cannot use this crucible as is. You know, if this was like a full-on crucible, we could go and put, you know, leaves in here, make water with it. We could put cobblestone in here. Didn't mean to do that. We could put cobblestone in here and make lava, but of course this is unfired. It is not working. All we're going to do is break that in our world. We can go run it through a furnace. Once this is done cooking, we'll have a proper crucible in our world. There we go. We've got that fired crucible now. To make lava, we're going to need to put this crucible on top of a heat source. Now, the simplest heat source that we have in our world is a torch. And actually, if we go into our JEI here, if we right click on the fire crucible, we bring up the use tab. Now, the very first tab here shows all the recipes you can make in the crucible. Now, there are technically only two things you can make in here, lava and water. Now, the difference between the two is you do not need a heat source to make the water. You will need a heat source to make the lava. That's where the second tab comes into play. Now, the second tab shows all the sources of heat available in the game. 
So we are using a torch that is a two times heat source. If we were to put lava underneath the crucible, we would have a three times heat source. There's cobblestone generators that will actually generate their own heat as well. These are very expensive. We'll be getting to them later on in the game. The one that we really want to work towards for early game is going to be the fire. The best way to do fire is to light a piece of uh, netherrack. To make netherrack, we're actually going to need lava. So we can't do this one first but we have got the torch here uh, to make that work. Now, in our world, if we want to see how much heat we're getting out of a particular crucible, if we press shift and look up at our little tooltip up above, you can see there's a heat of two. If I had lava under here, it would be a heat of three. If I had the burning netherrack under here, it would be that heat of six. To make lava in the crucible, we're going to need to put cobblestone in there. Now, cobblestone is a little bit of a precious resource early on in the game. Rather than use cobblestone, we've got a couple of other options that we can put into our crucible to make lava. The most available are probably going to be things like diorite, andesite, and granite. Now, we've been getting these pebbles every time we sift dirt in our sifting area. Unless you're building with them, there's not a lot of call for them early on in the game. So we can take these pebbles... We can go turn them into regular blocks. So I've got 16 andesite blocks. We can come up to our crucible. Actually, let's go get up from above and we can go one, two, three, four with the right click, putting those blocks into the crucible. If we shift down here, we can see that they are slowly making lava. Now to get a full bucket's worth of lava in your world, it's probably going to take you about seven or eight minutes at the two times uh, heat level to get a full bucket. So that is a very, very slow amount of lava you are probably going to want to set up a whole bunch of these here so you've got a much more consistent uh, source of lava, especially if you're using it for powering, especially if you're using it for making cobblestone and stuff like that. So while I'm waiting for this bucket, I'm going to do a little bit of stuff in the background and then we'll come back when it is done. All right, so there we go. We've now got the one bucket of lava. I've actually got rid of my uh, little stool here. If we come up here, you can see we've got lava in the bottom. Now, this crucible will hold four buckets of lava. You get one bucket of lava for every four cobblestone or diorite or andesite or granite. Some other blocks out there will give you a little bit more or a little bit less, depending on what they are. But to get the lava out, we need our iron bucket. We can go scoop. You can see this is now empty. We can go and fill it up with a little bit more. So there you go. We have now got lava in our world. We are one step closer to making ourselves a automatic cobblestone farm. Once we get the automatic cobblestone farm, things like getting resources from our sifting and that is going to become a lot easier. We won't have to go through the hassle of collecting leaves, turning them into dirt, and then sifting that dirt to make pebbles and then making that pebbles into cobblestone. So cobblestone will become a very, very good resource in our world. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys have found it useful. If you have, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There'll be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stop by to say hi, as well to be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good.